Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul of things that I bought from Korean brands online. I bought from three different websites. One is from Olens, one is from Style Nanda, and the last place is from YesStyle. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe and press the bell so you can notified every time I make a video. And let's go on with the haul. So the first place that I'm going to show you is from Olens. I bought some colored contacts. I'm actually wearing a pair that I got it probably I got it a while ago. I almost want to see like I got it a couple months ago and when I went to order them last time, I ordered a pair of gray ones, pink ones, and then green ones. But I never opened the green ones. But the ones I have on right now are green. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's very light, which I actually like. It's not so like obvious that I'm just like wearing like really bright green um, contact lenses. A lot of Olens lenses, they're really good about kind of looking very natural, which I really personally like. It kind of just like adds an oomph to like when I do my makeup. So when I was making my order this time, I really liked how the gray ones looked last time, but I wanted to try a more variety of grays. So I actually ordered a couple gray lenses. When I order from Olens, I usually just like to buy them all at once just because they do have free shipping on $100 and over. And also they have some special sales where if you buy one, you get one free. So I just tend to buy like a bunch. The first one I got are these gray ones. This is from the Island Collection. Um, this color is Island Gray. Gray. I also got gray ones from French Kiss. This is the three con gray. From French Kiss, I also ordered the three con brown. I'm not a big fan of buying brown contact lenses just because sometimes they come off too natural and I wear these colored contacts to like give an oomph. But what I liked about these French Kiss ones that they had online is that at least in the pictures, it looked like a lot more like caramel, like hazel. So I'm hoping that when I try them on, they will also be a lot more like vivid brown than like just like a very natural brown. I've always wanted to use the Spanish line because I heard they're super natural and really pretty. This is in Real Sky. I know that the Spanish line, it's pretty natural. So kind of like how I'm wearing green lenses right now, but you can't really tell. I heard that the Spanish line is kind of like that. I think at a certain point, Blackpink was actually promoting the Spanish line. And I really liked how it looked like on them. So I'm hoping that when I do my makeup, I can try the blue ones because I think blue would look really pretty with like a very neutral eye look. I wanted to get one that was like a little bit interesting just because last time I got pink and I actually ended up really liking it. So for this time, I got lavender. This is the lavender gold. So even though it's lavender on the outer end, there's like a gold portion on the inner end. So all the ones that I get are monthlies. I don't really like getting dailies because usually I wear my lenses for only like a couple hours per each use just because um, it's mainly like when I go out or I just like want to do my makeup a certain way, I'm not wearing them for the whole day. I just keep on reusing the same one for like a month. But if you like to change your contacts often or you're too lazy to continuously try to take care of them, it's probably better if you just get the dailies because you can just wear it once and then take it off. I just personally like getting the monthlies because I can get more use out of them. Next, I got a couple things from Style Nanda. So I actually tend to order from Style Nanda uh, two times every year. They do sales in the summer and in the winter and they have really good sales. Usually during the year, sometimes their products can get a little bit on the pricier end, especially because I'm used to seeing the sale price, so I just tend to wait. So the first thing I got is this really cute pouch, and I really like it because it's like this nice like beige color, like this cream, and it also has like this pink color. Um, I actually have just a separate pink one, but I just thought that it kind of being like stuck together and like divided would be nice to have in my pouch. Plus, I don't know why I'm like so obsessed with pouches. I just, I can't get enough. Henry is literally right behind the camera. So if you hear clickety clacks, that's him. Oh, he's sniffing the camera. Please, no. You see him, he's like, mm, that's what, that was him. I also get a lot of 3Concept Eyes nail polish. I really like the packaging. Oh, Henry. Anyways, so I get a lot of my nail polishes from 3Concept Eyes and I really liked this nude color. 
It's just this really nice and clean nude. I know I have so many nude nail polishes, but like, oh, the packaging, it's like a, it feels like um kind of like that mochi satin finish. And I think that's so nice. And it's just like this really nice, like frosted. Ugh, I mean, how could you say no? My go-to eyeliner is also actually from 3 Concept Eyes and I normally use either the black one or the glitter red bean. So I just picked up another one of the brown one. Each one comes with a eyeliner brush and I just I just go through these all the time so whenever it's on sale I just end up picking it up. So for a while I had been seeing on Instagram that these eyeshadow quads from 3 Concept Eyes were really popular. Um, I think they have a total of four or five different quads. I can't remember off the top of my head. Two of the quads were glitter focused and I freaking love glitter eyeshadow. So I was trying to decide between the two and then I just ended up getting both. I will say these didn't go on sale probably because they're doing so well. But I picked up the glitter bomb one and the diamond glint. This also comes in that really nice mochi satin finish which i just feel like it makes it feel the product feels so much better and like nicer so this is the glitter bomb quad they are just so glittery and pretty this is the diamond glint same sort of packaging very nice it's like so tastefully done and this is how it looks like on the inside so the, this one is Glitter Bomb and this one is Diamond Glint. So you can see that Glitter Bomb is a lot more on like the peachier warm tone and Diamond Glint is a lot on the cooler tone. I'll be honest, I bought these a lot for this chunky glittery colors. But I think honestly all of them are just like so nice to have. I also got some clothes from Style Nanda. I like their clothes, it's just hard because it doesn't really fit on my body frame just because it's kind of meant for people who are on like the smaller side. Um, they definitely have a lot of things that are like oversized, which I really like, um, but most of their clothing is actually like one size fits all and we all know one size doesn't fit all. So um, let me go through two of the ones that actually don't fit me. Funny because I was actually the most excited about these two. The first one that I was literally the most excited about is this long sleeve. As you can tell, very tiny and I'm not that tiny. So I had assumed that this was going to be stretchy enough for me. Mm -mm, it was not stretchy enough. But overall, I liked that there was like accent seams that you could see and I thought that was really tasteful, but I just, I can't even get it. I can't, like I get it up to here and then it doesn't come down further. So I'll show you a picture of how it looks like on the model, but of course it's gonna look good on the model. <laughs> I also got this nice like beige peach t-shirt which i also thought was going to be stretchy enough for me and it fits everywhere except for like my boob area um so i feel like there's hope with this one i just have to like downsize myself <laughs> a little um but what i do like is like the material is like super airy and like light and it has like a little bit of texture so it's not like just a standard t-shirt. And then I guess I decided to just buy basics. Why? I have no idea. There is an H&M taupe long sleeve shirt that I really, really liked. And every single time I go back to try to order another one, um, but it's sold out. Oh. Yeah? Can you wait a little? So I ended up finding a pretty similar style on their site that was still affordable. So I got this really pretty, just like oversized taupe long sleeve. I do think it'll be really comfy in the winter time. I also bought the same thing in charcoal, which came out looking just essentially black. There's like a very slight gray tone to it. But I bought something that's black and it, they essentially look like the same color. These are just nice to throw on, on top of like skinny jeans or something. It's just nice and comfy. Plus what I like the most is that it's really thin and I get hot really easily. So it's kind of nice to just like wear and still feel like airy and not feel really constricted. 
So both of those were actually like a circle U top, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. But I also decided to get one that's kind of similar, but it has a V-neck shape. And I don't really have that many plain black clothing. I guess that's why I got it in black. I, I don't know. I, when I was unboxing them for the first time, I was kind of like, what was going through my mind. So the last place that I ordered things are from YesStyle and I'm not gonna lie, actually the things that I ordered from YesStyle are what I'm most excited about because it is home decor. So I recently found out that YesStyle actually has some really nice and cute home decor stuff for a pretty affordable price. I will say some things I feel like are a little expensive for what it is, but then there are also other things that I found that are really good dupes in general. So the first thing that I bought, I feel like I'm gonna get made fun of, but I don't really care, um, is this really cute vase. So it's just like a cute little bubble vase. They have it in other colors and also different sizes. So originally I wanted to buy two one long one and one short one and this is like something you just like stick a stem in hold on for example like this you just kind of stick a stem i probably wouldn't put a rose but yeah you just kind of stick one thing in here and i still haven't found exactly what oh no it's stuck what did I do? I just thought it looked really cute and I do still plan on getting the smaller one to make a little set out of it. Um, I still haven't found really the right thing to put in there, but I don't think it'll be that hard to find something, but it's just like an accent thing. The next thing I got are these two cups and oh my gosh, these are like the best freaking cups I've ever gotten. For a while now, I've been kind of obsessed with like watching these like very aesthetically pleasing. And it's like these Instagram accounts that make these lattes, um, but they like have like a whole pretty setup and they use like these really pretty colors and they have all these pretty cups and I just aspire to be like one of them. I ended up getting these two cups and these are really pretty because these are double glassed. So when you put a liquid inside, it fills in in this really cool form. I got it in a set of one tall and one short. Honestly, I think I like the short one better and I don't even drink that much um, when I make coffee or um, tea. I'll probably use this one for like other people, but I just thought that it was so cute. And online, they had green tea in it and it just looked so cute. The last thing that I got is probably the thing that I'm most excited about. I know I keep on saying that every single time, but genuinely, this is why I even ended up buying a bunch of things from YesStyle. So I was on Pinterest a while ago and I look at a lot of things on Pinterest and whenever I pin things like furniture or like decoration based, I try to find out where I can buy it. And I've been really obsessed with looking at candles. Um, I really like sculptures, but the thing is though, I feel like getting very like modern contemporary sculptures sometimes is like a hit or miss. So I've been kind of into getting candles that are very like sculptural, even though I know I'm never gonna light them. I found this candle that I really, really wanted and it was like 30 something bucks. And honestly, I was gonna buy it. I really was, that's how much I wanted it. But then I always pushed it back and I was like, oh, we'll see, we'll see. And then I was on Yes Style and I literally found the dupe and I just had to buy it. And they had it in two sizes. They had it a small one and a large one and they are kind of different in design. So I bought both obviously and I actually bought them for essentially half the price, which is amazing. I bought these candles. How freaking cute are these candles? Come on, like, Tell me that's not just like so cool and tasteful. I, I mean, I, I know some people might not really like this style, but like I really do. Literally, I just like place it anywhere. Artwork, come on. And this is the smaller one. So there's one large one and one small one. The large ones, like the arms, like the, I don't know. I don't know, what, what should we call them? The bumps, they extend out. And these are more just like, spheres stacked in a cube shape but i just think that these are so cute i literally was trying to figure out where to put them because i just they look good everywhere so that's all the things that i recently bought from korean brands online i will do my best to link 
all the products that I got down below. I know that some of them are not available anymore, um, but the ones that are, I will link. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am super excited to wear and like use all these products. So you will probably end up seeing it in like vlogs and stuff, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.